Hi everyone. Today we are going to deal with pneumonia. Uh, pneumonia, various types of pneumonia and its management and complication. Coming to the definition of pneumonia. Pneumonia is defined as acute respiratory illness with radiological pulmonary shadowing. Acute respiratory illness means either fever or shortness of breath or cough or chest pain. How does one get pneumonia? Our body has a protective mechanism that it filters the bacteria or organism and keeps our lungs from becoming infected. But when our immune system is weak, our organisms are very strong, body fails to filter these organisms or bacteria. That's how one gets pneumonia. Pneumonia can be of community acquired, hospital acquired, and ventilator associated pneumonia. Cap, community acquired pneumonia. It occurs in community within 48 hours of hospital admission. Most common causative organism of community acquired pneumonia is streptococcus pneumonia. Streptococcus pneumonia itself is the most common causative organism of community acquired pneumonia resulting in hospital admission as well as ICU admission. Hospital acquired pneumonia. It occurs in hospitalized patient after 48 hours of hospital stay. Most common causative organism of hospital acquired pneumonia is gram negative bacilli. But when you ask which is the single most common causative organism of hospital acquired pneumonia, it is the gram positive cocci, which is CAF aureus. Ventilator associated pneumonia. It occurs after 48 to 72 hours of mechanical ventilation. Most common causative organism of ventilator associated pneumonia is Pseudomonas. Ventilator associated pneumonia is of two types that is, early ventilator associated pneumonia and late ventilator associated pneumonia. Early ventilator associated pneumonia occurs within five days of mechanical ventilation, whereas in the late it is more than five days of the mechanical ventilation. Streptococcus pneumonia is the most common causative organism for the early ventilator associated pneumonia. Other causative organisms is Haemophilus influenza. Late ventilator associated pneumonia causative organisms are Pseudomonas, Tap aureus, and Acinetobacter. Pneumonia is of two types, that is typical pneumonia and atypical pneumonia. Typical pneumonia, it occurs within alveoli, that is sputum production will be there, that is within the alveoli. But whereas in the atypical pneumonia, the infection occurs in interstitium, that is the space between two alveoli, that is the interstitial infection. So in the typical pneumonia, fever with productive cup will be the clinical presentation, whereas in the atypical pneumonia, fever with dry cup or scanty sputum. On blood RA, in typical pneumonia, predominant neutrophilic leukocytosis will be there, whereas in the atypical pneumonia, mild leukocytosis, mild leukocytosis only. Sputum gram staining reveals organism in typical pneumonia, whereas in the atypical pneumonia, no organisms are revealed in sputum gram staining. Chest X ray features in typical pneumonia it is alveolar X rays. In atypical pneumonia, no alveolar X rays will be there. We'll get interstitial pattern. Peri bronchovascular infiltrate will be there and bilateral haziness will be there. 
most common causative organism of typical pneumonia is streptococcus pneumonia other organisms are tac aureus strepsiella and pseudomonas in atypical pneumonia most common causative organism is mycoplasma other organisms are legionella chlamydia and viral most common causative organism of atypical pneumonia resulting in icu admission is legionella the typical pneumonia caused by streptococci staphylococci and klebsiella we will compare it risk factors for the streptococci typical pneumonia caused by streptococci is smoking mainly by smoking and it is the most common pneumonia in diabetic mellitus and alcoholics iv drug uses pneumonia it is the staphylococci and it occurs as fatal pneumonia in post viral illness risk factors for the klebsiella are alcoholism and malnutrition clinical features of streptococci it's a characteristic sputum that is red rusty sputum in streptococci in staphylococci it is mucopurulent sputum whereas in klebsiella it is red currant jelly sputum chest x-ray features of streptococci it is the low bar consolidation that it involves only a lobe or a segment of lung it is a localized involvement and it is the most common pattern in community acquired pneumonia in staphylococci we get bronco pneumonia bronco pneumonia it affects the lungs in patches around bronchi we we'll get bilateral patchy consolidations can cause pneumococcals cavity and lung abscess it is the most common pattern in hospital acquired pneumonia what is pneumococcals it is the air filled area with ill defined walls whereas cavity is air filled area with well defined walls chest x ray features of klebsiella are right upper lung right upper lobe consolidation with bulging fissure this is the most common characteristic that is a bulging fissure will be there it can also cause pneumococcal cavity and lung abscess treatment for the streptococci it is with beta lactams and in staphylococci if it is methicillin resistant staph aureus treat it with vancomycin and if it is vancomycin resistant staph aureus treat it with linezolid klebsiella treat it with beta lactams plus aminoglycoside combine both now coming to pseudomonas occurs frequently as ventilator associated pneumonia it is the most common causative organism of pneumonia in bronchiectasis cystic fibrosis structural lung disease staph aureus is also the causative organism for this condition but pseudomonas is the main causative organism clinical features include fever with mucopurulent sputum it can cause lung abscess chest x ray features are bilateral infiltrate treatment with anti pseudomonal beta lactam plus fluoroquinolones or aminoglycosides you can treat it either with anti pseudomonal beta lactam plus fluoroquinolone or aminoglycosides now coming to no, acinetobacter 
It occurs as ventilator-associated pneumonia. Initial treatment is with carbapenems. If persistent, treat it with colistin. Now coming to atypical pneumonia caused by Legionella and Mycoplasma. Most common method of transmission in Legionella is due to aspiration. More than aerolization, it is due to aspiration. And spread is through contaminated water. It's not from person to person. It's through contaminated water. Special features include associated pneumonia is associated with diarrhea. Other features are headache, confusion, hyponatremia, altered liver function test. As it is atypical pneumonia, gram staining reveals no organisms. Poor response to beta lactams. It occurs in old age and in immunocompromised patients. Occurrence of illness within 10 days discharge from hospital. Legionella incubation period is 5 to 10 days. Mycoplasma is the most common atypical pneumonia. It is otherwise known as walking pneumonia or Eaton agent pneumonia. Extra pulmonary features include rash, erythema nodosum, encephalitis, Gullian barrier syndrome, hemolytic anemia, myocarditis, pericarditis, and arthritis. Mycoplasma contains no cell wall. If you cure pneumonia associated with diarrhea, then you should think about Legionella. And pneumonia with hemolytic anemia, you should think about mycoplasma. How to diagnose? Diagnosis is mainly by serology or PCR, polymerase chain reaction. As it is poor response to beta lactams, treatment is with fluoroquinolones, either with fluoroquinolones or macrolide or tetracyclines. Best treatment for Legionella is levofloxacin and moxifloxacin. Azithromycin is the best treatment for mycoplasma. Pneumocystitis pneumonia. Pneumonia in the immunocompromised patient. Infection, this infection can occur in any, but this is only in immunocompromised patient. It is the most common causative fungal pneumonia in HIV. Risk factors include CD4 count less than 200 per ml in HIV. And in organ transplant patients, patient on long-term immunosuppressive treatment, primary immunodeficiencies. Clinical features include either fever or dry coughs or shortness of breath. Initially, chest x-ray is normal. Peritubular infiltrates will be there, which leads to diffuse interstitial infiltrate. Pneumatocele pneumothorax can be seen. Diagnosis. Diagnosis is mainly by bronchoalveolar lavage rather than routine sputum, we go for bronchoalveolar lavage and visualize for cyst. Right gemsa stain, gomon methamine silver stain, immunofluorescent stain will use these stains for visualizing the cyst. Drug of choice include cortamoxazole. Cortamoxazole is the drug of cho choice for prophylaxis also. Coming to the assessment of severity of pneumonia, it is CURB 65. CURB C4 confusion, U4 urea greater than 7 millimole per liter, R4 respiratory rate more than 30 per minute, B4 systolic blood pressure less than 90 mmHg, diastolic blood pressure less than 60 mmHg, and 65, age more than 65. If the score is 0 to 1, between 0 to 1, then you need only OP treatment, home treatment with antibiotic. 
if it is two, score is two, hospitalize and treat. And if the score is three to five, is between three to five, then consider it as severe pneumonia and patient may require ICU admission. Empirical regimens for community acquired pneumonia. OP treatment, it is oral forms. If the patient is with no comorbidities, you can treat either with macrolide or beta lactams or tetracycline. Macrolide, you, you can use clarithromycin or azithromycin or doxycycline. Beta lactam, amoxicillin or moxclab, amoxicillin clavulinate can be used. In IP treatment, we use both oral and injectable forms, but mainly injectable form. In non-ICU patient, treat it either with beta-lactam plus macrolide or fluoroquinolones. In ICU patient, treat it either with beta-lactam plus macrolide or beta-lactam plus fluoroquinolones. In ICU patient, if pseudomonas is suspected, treat it with anti pseudomonal beta lactam plus fluoroquinolone or aminoglycosides plus azithromycin, which is a macrolide. If community acquired methicillin resistance tap oris is suspected, treat it either with beta lactams plus macrolide plus vancomycin. And the second one is the most effective regimen, which is beta lactam plus fluoroquinolones plus linezolate with or without clindamycin. This is the treatment part. Coming to the complications of pneumonia. Most common complication, it is a paranemonic effusion will be there. Empyema. Retention of sputum causing lobar collapse, deep vein thrombosis and pulmonary embolism. Pneumothorax, particularly with staph aureus. Separative pneumonia or lung abscess. It may pose ARGS, renal failure, multi-organ failure, and ectopic abscess formation. Thank you.